So we've given you three tips on how to get started on the keto slash carnivore lifestyle. And now we'll find out what's next. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things, like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So it's been two to three weeks since you started your keto journey and you've ditched all of the sugar and the grains. And you're probably already starting to see some results. Now it's time to begin optimizing those results. The next step on your keto journey is to begin cutting back on the amount of times that you eat inside of a day. Yeah, up until now, we've told you you can eat whatever and whenever you want, so long as it doesn't contain any sugar, wheat, or starches. Now we're gonna change up how you eat. Now I know what you may be thinking. Hold up a second. You mean that I'm gonna to have to start eating less because if that is the case, I'm out. I know this sounds kind of weird, and don't worry. We're not gonna be cutting back on the amount of food you eat, just how many times you eat throughout the day. For step two, we want you to crunch all of your eating into just three meals a day with no snacking in between. You're still going to be eating the same amount of food, but you're only going to be eating three times a day. This was very weird for me when I got started because I was used to everybody saying, you have to eat five to six small meals a day. But every time you eat, your body has an insulin reaction. And insulin is a fat storing hormone. And we wanna wake up that sleeping giant as few times as possible. If we cut our eating back to just three times a day, that means we're only gonna have an insulin reaction three times a day. So here's what you're gonna do. Continue eating whole foods like bacon, hamburger, steak, chicken, and even green leafy veggies, but just do it three times a day. Also, try to stay away from the keto treats. Many of them are low carb and they have decent ingredients, but we're not just worried about the carbs right now. You've gotten away from a lifelong addiction to sugar and carbs. And if you eat some of those keto treats right now, they may remind you of some old favorites, which will cause you to go backwards. Save the treats until after you've gotten used to this lifestyle. Yeah, instead of having those treats, just eat more meat with your meal. Nothing wrong with eating too much bacon. If you're used to eating every couple of hours, you may struggle with some hunger in between meals. If you're having a hard time getting to the next meal, increase the amount of fat that you eat with your meal. The fat will help satiate you and get you through to your next meal. Now on the other side, you may find that you're not hungry and you're not eating very much food. That's a good thing because it's a good indication that you're starting to get fat adapted, but we want to make sure that you're getting enough calories and protein. So if you're in this situation and you're finding you're not eating very much food, what we want you to do is cut back on the fat a little bit and eat more protein. What we don't want you to do is cut way back on calories. Don't think of this as the diet that you're used to where you cut back all the food that you were eating because that's gonna be a detriment to your long-term success. Instead, we're focusing on eating good quality foods until we are comfortably full. Now, if you're like me, who was used to grazing all day long, you may not know what comfortably full even feels like. I was so accustomed to topping off all day long with mini meals dotted all along my day that I had no idea what truly feeling hungry actually felt like. That's why we're dedicating this entire step to getting yourself accustomed to the routine of only eating three times a day. It's gonna take you some time to figure out just what combination of protein and fat is gonna get you from one meal to the other without a snack in between. Now I know it sounds very weird, but believe me, it works. I eat three times more food now than when I did 100 pounds ago. In fact, I was gaining weight, eating just 700 calories or less a day on my 
high carbohydrate diet. But when I switched to a ketogenic way of eating, I lost weight eating more than 2000 calories a day. Yeah, that's because it's not just about calories. It's about what kind of food you're eating. There is a huge difference between eating 500 calories of Oreos and 500 calories of steak. Continue eating this way for one or two weeks, and then we're gonna move on to step three, where we'll begin talking about calories, macros, and how much food you should actually be eating throughout the day. Now you're doing great. We want you to keep up the good work, and if you need help or are feeling frustrated, don't be afraid to check in with all the awesome folks in our Facebook family group. They've got the encouragement you need to keep moving forward. So that's gonna be the end of this video, step two on how to get started on the keto slash carnivore way of eating. Now, don't forget, if you haven't already done it, go back and check out step one, which I'm gonna link right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're gonna find right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. That way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.